Chapter 6 The Mathematics of Graph Graph Coloring and Application of Graph Coloring The Angel Gabarda and Francis Abala Good day everyone, my name is Angel Al Gabarda. Welcome to Panematics in the Modern World. So today, I'm going to discuss about graph coloring. First, we need to know what is the meaning of graph coloring. What is graph coloring? In graph theory, graph coloring is a special case of graph labeling. It is an assignment of labels traditionally called colors to elements of a graph subject to certain constraints. Example of graph coloring. Coloring maps. In the mid-1800s, Francis Guthrie was trying to color a map of the countries of England so that it would be easy to distinguish the countries he wanted sharing a common border to have different colors. Sinasabi dito na isa si Francis Guthrie sa gumamit ng Graph coloring para mas madali niyang matukoy o matandaan ang bawat lugar. After several attempts, he noticed that four colors were required to color the map, but not one. This observation became known as four-color problem. It was not proved until over 100 years. Graph coloring is nothing but a simple way of labeling graph components such as vertices, edges, and regions under some constraints. Here is the map of the contiguous states of the United States color similarly. Look that the map has four colors. And that no two states share a common border have the have same color. There is a connection between coloring maps and graph theory. This connection has many practical applications from scheduling tasks, designing computers, and to play Sudoku. So now, we will discuss chromatic number of graph. The minimum number of colors needed to color a graph so that no edge connects vertices of the same color is called the chromatic numbers of the graph. In general, there is no efficient method of finding the chromatic number of a graph, but we do have a theorem that can tell us whether a graph is too colorable. At paano mo masasabi kung gag kung ang graph ay too colorable. This is the meaning of too colorable. Too colorable graph theorem, a graph is too colorable if and only if has no circuits that consist of a number of vertices. A graph is too colorable if we can color each of its vertices with one of two colors. Say, red and blue vertices are connected by an edge. Hi everyone, I am Francis Carillo Abalia from Tribe 5 Hypotenuse Secretary. Today, I am going to discuss all about the application of graph coloring. Chapter 6 The Mathematics of Graph Application of Graph Coloring B. Francis Abala So, what is application of graph coloring? When I heard application, it comes to my mind that it is something that we are going to add or put on in operation. So, application of graph coloring, it is determining the chromatic number of a graph and finding corresponding coloring of the graph can solve a wide assortment on a given or practical problem. So, when we say application of graph coloring, it is we are going to analyze and find the chromatic number and also the how many color that we are going to put or use in a graph. So that is application of graph coloring. What are the example of application of graph coloring? There are few applications of graph coloring such as mobile radio frequency assignment, register allocation, bipartite graphs, map coloring, and the most common application of graph coloring is scheduling a meeting or event. This is best example shown in my example in the next slide of this video. 
Here is the example of scheduling of application of graph coloring. So we are uh, we have a given example or situation here. What well, it is? Five classes at the elementary school have arranged tour at the zoo. And zoo where the students get to feed the animals. So there are five classes though. So there are classify what they want to feed animals in the zoo. So we are five classes. The class one wants to feed the elephants, giraffes, and hippos. Class two wants to feed the monkeys, rhinos, and elephants. Class three wants to feed the monkeys, deer, sea lions. Class four wants to feed the parrots, giraffes, and polar bears. Class five wants to feed the sea lions, hippos, and polar bear. So the situation here in a given example is if the zoo allows animal to feed only once a day by a class of student can be the tour accomplished in two days. So sabi dito kung kaya bang magkaroon ng two days kung once a day lang pwedeng magpakain yung mga student in a single class. So let us assume that each class will visit the zoo only one day. If not, how many days will be required? So, in this question, we are going to find how many days we are going or the students of the elementary school are going to feed all the animals that they want to feed. So, we are going to find the graph coloring and the chromatic number of this given situation. So, the solution here in the given example is no more animals is listed more than twice in the tour list. Example here is um, the class 1 and class 2. So, the class 1 wants to feed elephants, giraffes, and hippos. And class 2 wants to feed the monkeys and rhinos and elephants. So, there are a, a one elephant, a one animals that are the same in the same class. So, walang magka, di sila magkakaroon ng conflict kasi isla, isang animals lang yung parehas nilang gustong pakainin in, in the zoo. So, walang mag, di magkakaroon ng conflict doon. So, you may be tempted to say the only two days will be required. However, to get the better picture of the problem, we can represent the situation with a graph. So, in this, we are going to construct a graph now. So, use a vertex to represent each class. And each ver vertex connect two vertices with an edge if the corresponding classes want to feed the same animal so we are going to connect the vertices or vertex with the same animals that they want to feed then we can try to find a two coloring of the graph where different color represent the different day at the zoo so we are going to now to construct a graph. I'm going to show you how the graph is constructed. So as you can see on the screen, it is a constructed graph of the given situation. So according to the solution, we are going to use vertex to represent each class. So the vertex here is the dot that you that you see in that screen. So we have five dots that it represent the each class of the elementary school. So we have class one, class two, class three, class four, and class five. So according to the solution, we are going to connect two vertices with an edge if the corresponding classes want to feed fed the same animal. So we are going to connect the the vertex with the same animals they want to feed. So, 1 and 5 are connected because they want to feed the, the high post. So, you, yun yung same animals na gusto nilang pakainin in one day. Why connected si 5 and 4? Because they want to feed the same animal which is the polar bears. So, pareha silang gustong pakainin yung polar bears in, in one day. So, 
one, one and four are connected to each other because they want to feed also the same animals, which is the giraffes. Kaya connected silang tatlo. So in this this figure that you can see, it's called the chromatic number. So we form three chromatic number. So today we are going to color now the graph that we are constructed. So note that the graph contains a circuit circuit 1, 4, 5, and 1. So consisting three vertices. So this is the vertice vertices the 1, 4, 5, and 1. So this circuit will require three colors. So this circuit daw po I um will use three colors. So we are going to decide what we want to use the color in this graph. So this circuit will require three colors and the remaining vertices or this is the remaining vertices this is the remaining vertices we are not required to additional colors so this these two remaining vertices um, we are going to decide what color what we want we want to put but we are going to uh, kukuha tayo ng color galing dito sa three vertices kasi ba, three coloring coloring graph yung nakuha natin. So, we are going to get uh, any color on these circuits. So, here I'm going to show you the the colored graph. Here is so, this is now the the graph coloring or the graph coloring. So, as you can see, I use as you can see here, is I use red, blue, and green as the three colors. So, according to this, so the chromatic number of the graph is three. So the chromatic number is three. So that is the one, four, and five. This is called the chromatic number. So one, according to this, one possible coloring is given below. So using using this coloring using this coloring three days are required at the zoo so we find the question or the answer and the question is how many days will be required so three days will be required at the zoo to feed all the animals that they that the class want that the class want to feed so on the first day on the first day Two and five represented by the blue vertices will visit the zoo. So this is the the um, class two and five. They are going to feed the animals on the first day of the tour. So sila kasi walang mag magkakaroon ng conflict doon kasi isang beses lang yung animals na papakainan nila hindi sila pareho on the same animals na gusto nilang pakainin second day class second day classes 1 and 3 are going to fed or represented by red red color or red vertices will visit the zoo so sila yung on the second day kaya walang conflict doon kasi wala silang same animals na papakainin on the same day. So, why 4 is green? So, because on the third day, class 4 will represented by the green vertex will visit the zoo. Why? Because si 4 ay madami siyang um, animals that connected are the same with the, with the vertex 1 and 5. Kaya, hindi siya pwedeng sumabay sa, sa 3 and 4 at hindi rin siya pwedeng sumabay doon so 5 and 3 kasi magkakaroon ng conflict conflict sa pagpapakain kasi according to the zoo once a day lang pwedeng pakainin yung mga animal so kaya on the third day on the third day um, isa lang si class 4 na magpapakain doon sa mga animal so so here pwedeng oh and that's all thank you